Hello everyone, welcome to Funge. In our latest video tutorial, we will be crafting an exceptional landing page for a cutting edge crypto web 3 platform. Our UI design will be a magnificent blend of vibrant linear gradient colors, expertly created to deliver a stunning visual experience. Additionally, we will be using an SVG Earth illustration that will add an extra layer of depth and personality to our project. Without further ado, let's start designing. Okay, let's get started with this project. So first what you want to do is you want to import our star pack files We have provided in the description. So make sure to copy them and to paste them into your Figma file here We, we have a logo textiles images and shapes as well into images colors and we have a background here So that's all the resources that we'll be needing for this project and let's start designing So let's uh, grab a desktop frame you click F to pull out the frame tab and uh, let's just select desktop here let's name our file here web3 landing page name this landing page okay let's start working on this landing page so first what we want to do is we want to fill it up with a background color so we have provided that in the, the star pack so we have designed this uh, linear gradient here uh, this linear gradient is uh, extracted from this blue color, this light blue color. If we drill down into the linear gradient, you can see that it's the same color, but we have just chosen some darker shades from it. And this very well worked with the design that we'll be working on. So make sure to experiment this on your own if you want to tweak some things. But for the time being, we'll be using this. linear gradient for our design so we can just copy the properties right there and we can go paste properties and there we go okay great so once we have that set up we can start actually designing this thing so let's uh, first design the navigation where let's design the links and for this purpose we'll be using uh, for headings we'll be using seagull ai ui and for body we'll be using roboto so let's uh, jump right in into designing these navigation links so let's uh, write here features to be single UI. Actually, we can go with uh, Roboto. In this one, it will look a lot cleaner for this one. So yeah, let's go with uh, Roboto. Want it to be regular and want it to be 16 pixels here. And let's uh, design the rest of the navigation links. So this should be trading. This should be ecosystem. I'm hold. Uh, I'm holding Alt Shift to copy these. By the way, just a lot quicker. And this should be FAQ. Okay, great. Now you can hold Shift and select all your text elements. Uh, you can uh, text center them, align them, and let's distribute horizontal spacing between them. And let's try 32. That's a little bit close. Let's go with 40. Yeah, for you should work just fine. You can group them, control G, and let's position them here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is want to create a frame around them. So click F and just create the frame. There we go. And we can add auto layout to this frame. So hold Shift A. And let's expand this frame to the edge here. There we go. And what we're gonna do now is want to add 32 pixel spacing top and bottom and let's center them center the navigation by aligning center here and there we go this will be our navigation it will be 83 pixels uh, height so this is a little bit different than our recent tutorial so we decided to do something different and we can actually remove the auto layout here because we're not going to be needing it in the time and now what we want to do before we jump right in designing the other things we want to add two auto layouts here uh sorry layout grids to this uh frame so we want the first one should be columns 12 the margin should be 80 and the gutter should be 16 and the second one should be rows and the count should be 16 and the margin and gutter should be 16 as well so this is full 16 as you know this okay we can disable the rows for the moment so we can click on the side to hide them and now what we're missing here we're missing a button on the right and we're missing a logo on the left so let's quickly grab the logo here copy it 
uh, let's uh, place it here. Let's align it to the middle and make sure it's perfectly aligned. There we go. And now we can design the button here. So let's uh, right here connect wallet. This should be connect wallet. And we can hold Shift A to add auto layout. Let's give it uh, 12 pixels top, top and bottom, and let's give it 16 left and right. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we can actually align it to the center here. The text, select the text as well. Okay, it's text centered. And what we're going to do now is we want to give this button a color. So we're going to be using uh, these two primary colors to switch between gradients. So we can use this one. So let's uh, select this one and let's disable the grid as well. Column grid. And let's give it a fill here. And there we go. Let's give it a corner radius of 10 here. And let's uh, tweak this up a little bit. So let's go to linear here. And let's copy the same, same hex code and enter it here. Okay, it's the same. And let's try 9% here. And let's position this from left to right. Let's uh, tweak this thing a little bit. Make it a little bit more vibrant here. So let's try. Making it a little bit more. Vibrancy here. Um, yeah, that looks good. Let's just tweak it a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking good. It should catch attention. But the only thing I'm not liking here is the a little bit too big on the top. So let's try 10 here. Yeah, let's go with 10. Uh, let's enable the grid. And let's position it properly here. There we go. Okay, that's looking already too good. Okay, so let's uh, now design the header here, the header text. We're going to be having a heading, uh, description below it, and two buttons. So let's jump right in. And for the I think we're going to be using Seagull UI as we specified in the text style. So let's write up the heading here. So trade, earn, and build on the leading Web3 crypto trading project. Oh, there we go. Let's align the text to the left. Let's add Seagull UI here. Right. It's not uh, 64. We're going to be adding 48 here. We go let's align it to the column here and now we want to enable our rows and let's disable the columns for a second let's... yeah okay so what we want to do now okay so since we have the columns let's uh, try to squeeze this text to be uh between these two rows here i mean sorry and how we can do that is by reducing the line height here. We can uh, slowly play with it. The reason we're doing this, it will give the text uh, below a more better filling. So by positioning these, uh, this uh, heading into these rows, will be um, it will give the design a much more aesthetic feel. So let's reduce it a little bit more here. And there we go. You can see it's uh, aligned perfectly on these two rows, and that's what we wanted here. And that's it for the heading. We can enable the columns now. So, there we go. Okay. Now let's uh, add a description below it. So we're going to be having a little description here. So let's write it up. Step into the exciting world of centralized finance and take advantage of the latest advancements in crypto trading technology by joining the leading web free protocol yeah protocol there we go 
Okay, so this should be in Roboto. And this should be 18 pixels. So let's write up here. Let's add an auto height here. We're going to change that height as well. Let's grab this text color here. And let's apply it here. Uh, let's disable the grid. I'm going to show you how I choose my text colors here. So the way I choose them is like uh, I can just uh, select this color picker and then just select the background here. And the way I do find text colors that work well with the text is just I experiment with it. Just try to find something that uh, really isn't blending in with the background, but it's uh, very readable. So this is like basically the way I find uh, readable text. And by using the same background color and just adding a slightly, slightly lighter tint to the text here. So yeah, that's how I usually find the text colors. Okay, let's position this... Uh, 20 pixels below heading here and let's design the buttons here and the way we can design them we can just grab this one because we already have a button so we don't have to redesign anything here but this should be create a wallet and let's copy this one more time and this should be how it works this should, the value should be capitalized here Let's copy this uh, text color and apply it here as well. And let's uh, remove the fill here. And we can actually enable the rows. We can position everything very nicely. Let's put this down a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try like this, see how it looks like. And this should be six and pick pixels away let's group it group these buttons and let's position them 32 pixels below the description let's see now that's looking pretty good we can leave them like this let's uh, disable the rows here and let's now add some shapes to this design to bring it to life so we have a shape provided and it's also in a linear gradient. It's also using uh, some blue colors here, but they're very, very light. And we also ha have added 6% opacity. So this is very, very light, actually. Let's copy it and just uh, paste it here into design. Let's uh, rotate it. I'm holding shift to rotate this element quite nicely. Uh, let's just create something here. Let's position this here. We also have the grid, so that's very useful. There we go. Let's copy it down. Let's reduce the size here. Let's add 16 here. Maybe we can reduce it a little bit more here. The 12. Let's align these two. So the grid and see how this looks. Okay, it's coming into place. Let's copy this holding alt shift one more time. Let's uh, reduce the size here. Let's reduce the corner radius as well. Let's go with 32. Hold shift to reduce the size proportionally. So when you hold shift, it will actually resize it proportionally on all sides. And let's uh, see what we can do here. Let's add 16 here. Let's position this here. And we will need be needing a big boy. So let's copy this here. Just expand it a little bit. Let's add 32 here. And let's put it somewhere around here. And there we go. Let's disable the grid for the moment. And that's looking good, in my opinion. We can tweak this a little bit, so we can actually edit these on our own. If you don't like something somewhere, you can also edit it on, your, on yourself. Uh, let's just try to just a little bit more light here. Give it 8 here, 8 opacity. 
give this some aid as well. You can play around with it and you can find something interesting. Where this is the six, and there we go. Okay, that's out of the way. So now we can work on the text here. So let's add some linear gradients to the text here. So trade should be green, earn should be like a light blue, and build can be yellow. Like we designed it. So let's grab this green color here, the second primary color. And let's uh, just select this trait and go to fill and linear gradient. Just add the color here. Select the second one and add the same color here as well. And let's uh, add 80% opacity here. And let's play around with it. Let's create another element, color element here. And we can actually give it more vibrancy, more life to this. There we go. That's looking good, in my opinion. Now let's uh, add uh, light blue here to earn. Let's uh, go with linear here. Let's add 85 here. Get another one here. Get a little bit light here on the sides. Make sure to balance it out. There we go. It's looking good. And let's grab the yellow here. Let's apply it to build. Let's go linear. Apply it to the hex code here. Here as well. 85. Let's get this here. Let's play around with this. See what we can do here. Yeah, looking good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, the only thing we were missing here is the Earth SVG here. I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna apply it to the landing page. So paste. Uh, let's uh, enable our column grid here so we can see a little bit what we're doing here. Oops. So it might go out of your frame. Be careful when you position it. So let's try to position it to the to this column here, right here. So let's just see what we're doing. There we go. That should be working very well. Now let's disable the grid. And there we go, guys. We have a very attractive uh, landing page where we used a lot of gradients and we used shapes with gradients and we used an SVG Earth illustration to bring this design to life. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned how to use uh, illustrations and uh, linear grading colors to bring your designs to life. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like, subscribe and leave a comment and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.